channel. Hope you're doing well today. Let's see what Spirit has for you. All right, you're on a new adventure. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. There's action being taken. There's a goal in mind. You're learning something new. You could be receiving a message from somebody, an important message. To me, this feels like a breakthrough or just some sort of excitement about the path you're heading, right? The direction you're heading. I don't know what it is you're manifesting, but it seems to mean a lot to you. You seem to be very excited about it because on the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. So there's a lot of joy here. Things might be progressing at um, kind of like a slower pace than you might want. But I do see that picking up here with this eight of wands. This is a lot of communication, fast movement, forward movement. And I feel like there's just some sense of joy or peace that is surrounding you, right? You're radiating a very positive vibration and you're moving on or moving forward from something that was potentially really chaotic or destructive. Six of swords with the tower. Yeah. It's like you're exiting stagnancy, moving forward towards something that lights your soul up. A lot of happiness, right? But it's happening at the pace it is meant to. Maybe not the pace you want, but the pace that it is meant to. Okay. What are we manifesting here? What is this? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, no, a lot of peace and healing, I want to say, with the Four of Swords on the bottom. So you're manifesting literally emotional liberation and freedom. Like this is um, a wish fulfillment. So this could be you actually moving forward towards your dreams or you are now on the path of alignment with your dreams. Like your vibration is you're doing some healing so that your vibration can get where it needs to be so that this knight of pentacles can hopefully turn into like a knight of wands right but i do see you taking your time you're manifesting straight up joy <laughs> you're, you're manifesting fulfillment what else the nine of wands and you are this you want something that's gonna last i'm getting the sense that this is the type of dream or goal that you have in mind with this ace of pentacles where it's like you don't want it to just be a come and go type of thing, you know, whether it's a relationship, a job, a certain path of life. I don't know. But you want it to be something that withstands the test of time, long term happiness and fulfillment. And you are taking those steps. You're going to be meeting the right people as well with this page of wands, eight of wands. One more. The lovers, damn. A love that stands the test of time, connection. Um, again, alignment with your higher self. I do see you kind of doing what you feel is necessary in order to align with that higher version of self or your highest vibrational reality. But you're manifesting a strong love connection, something that's gonna stick around to stay, um, or you're just manifesting your own Loving yourself in a way that is consistently joyous, right? In alignment. What are some potential challenges that you might run into? The death card in the reverse. Scorpio energy. The page of swords. And the high priestess. Some potential challenges you might run into might be like doubting your own skills and capabilities, not really giving yourself the credit you deserve, right, in regards to your mastery or how how far you have actually came along this path, right? Whatever it is for you. Also be aware of loops, like getting stuck in time loops or where you're kind of just like running circles on yourself or doing things that are kind of not contributing to the progression of whatever path you're walking and manifesting. 
potential challenges. Also, something about knowledge or learning here, I want to say, like with the Page of Swords. Ooh, comparing yourself to others. That's a potential challenge. Like looking at what other people are doing instead of just walking your path, you know? And the High Priestess, I just feel like this is... Don't doubt your knowing. Don't doubt your, your gut instinct, your intuition, because it's very strong, you know? So give yourself more credit. Trust yourself in regards to whatever decisions you're making on your path, because it's bringing in a lot for you. It's bringing in a lot of new connections, excitement, stability, joy, happiness, alignment. Um, and the more that you trust that voice, it's the more progress you'll see on this path. But also just be aware of like getting stuck in those repetitive cycles that you've outgrown, right? Like if you know you have outgrown something or someone, allow yourself to move on and move forward. Or if you know like your schedule is conflicting with your desired outcome and you know you have the capability to make changes to that schedule, Make the changes, right? Don't get stuck in loops that are going to ultimately delay what you desire. Hmm. What can you show me about the near future? We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. And the King of Pentacles, damn, Temperance. So we have Sagittarian Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio. But so in the near future, you, that work you're putting in, those steps, that progress you're taking every day and like the effort you're putting in towards yourself and your goals and whatever you want out of life, it's working. That alignment or balance that you are seeking you're finding it in the near future. Um, this is a very peaceful energy. It's a very balanced energy. Acknowledging all parts of yourself and all aspects of life, right? Not really trying to perfect, but more so accept, right? You for who you are or things for what they are. Instead of trying to control the narrative or... Um, force yourself to be one way or the other if you just know that's not you um, but also with the ten of pentacles king of pentacles six of cups this is a very abundant relationship or connection here that means a lot to you so you can expect that in the near future but also like if we're talking business this is security this is financial abundance wealth status this is uh <laughs> this is the longevity that is attached to whatever you're manifesting you know what i mean so in the near future, definitely expect to take on more responsibility with this King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles, but with you get more reward for it, you know? Like it's gonna be worth it. And you're literally manifesting it, so I know that you, you desire it to some degree. This is Spirit saying you're going to get what you are, you're gonna get what you're asking for. Just make sure you're ready for it, you know? But that's wealth, that's happiness, very nurturing connections as well. You got any advice? The Four of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> Goddamn, and the Hermit. Um, your advice at this time, I guess, would be just to take some time for yourself, right? Appreciate the small things in life. Heal whatever you need to heal. Um, don't feel guilty for resting, right? For taking, don't feel guilty for taking time for yourself, right? Going within, seeking answers. Especially if you feel like you're at a crossroads of any sorts, like all the answers you need and seek, they're within you, right? You don't have to look outside of yourself, but also spend time with those that you love. That's advice, you know? It'll help you gratitude i'm getting gratitude from this spending time with those you love or 
being around people that make you feel good or just environments that make you feel good, you know, and allow yourself the time you need to rest whenever you feel it. Um, finding a healthy balance between like self-care and self-love and then just gratitude for the things that you love about life or just the ones that are in your life, you know. Your advice is to seek happiness. See the joy or the beauty in all things, you know, as much as you can. Especially if the situation's not so pretty. It's like trying to find those little things. It'll kind of it'll just make things easier on you. <laughs> get you some oracle cards. The Empress. Yeah. You, <laughs> some of you guys could be having kids. You could be a mother. You could be a father. Or becoming one. But this is just an abundant. This is like... It is the divine feminine, but it's also you being taken care of by the universe. I feel like you're embodying this energy of like you're putting your care into the things that you show up to, right? Anything that you show up to, you do it with love. You do it from a place of your heart, you know? And I feel like that is really what's helping you expand in all of these ways, you know, in these beautiful ways, because... When you do, when you live through your heart space, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know how. But life, it, life grows when you do things from that that place. You know, when you're genuinely invested for the love of it, or the love of self, or for reasons that are not rooted in anything outside of love. Right? <laughs> I feel like love is the way always. But let's see what we got for you. I'll get you some tea leaves. Take all these as it resonates. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Excitement is on the way. You will be shown the way. You are on the road to success. The mountain road. It has not been an easy journey for you, but you are doing it. You're doing the damn thing. Opportunity or windfall is heading your way. We also have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Yeah, you are very protected, <laughs> very divinely protected. I don't know who you are, but you got some powerful spirit guides by your side. We have indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Those are those loops you should watch out for, right? Getting stuck. Um, let's see what else. Happiness. Yeah, you know you're manifesting that. What else we got? Damn. A dark man could be involved. You could be one. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Who are you? Psychic abilities. Trust your intuition. I already told you. And slowly but surely getting ahead. Straight up. Knight of Pentacles. You're doing the damn thing. May could be of importance. You could be a Gemini, maybe a Taurus. Hmm. I like this reading for you. Hope you have a blessed day. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, book a personal. Links will be in the description boxes below my about tab. See you soon. Bye.